Hello everybody, welcome back to our video. So yeah, we're back. Um, so pretty much last episode we um, we conquered well we conquered parts over here. I'm not sure what I did last episode, but whatever. I know that I got the kingdom of Ukraine back. Now that's uh, my, my puppet, and um, yeah. So now we have this. The second Duel Greek. Now, last episode, I left you off on a cliffhanger. First of all, because I'm a jackass. And second of all, because, well, I want to know what people thought about it. Now, the first thing I did was ask Frost. And I asked him a couple of questions. First of all, I thought I asked him, what would he do? He immediately replied, well, I would declare war on Germany. Which makes sense. He's really like, well, he, just, he would do that just because. He wouldn't even think about it. It's just his personality. Nothing bad about that. Just how he thinks. And uh, then we also have the, um, then I said, but what would you do from a roleplay standpoint? Now, you guys know that I love roleplaying. Like, seriously, I've been rambling on about defender, defending democracy for the entirety of this uh, series uh, since I knew that we were actually going to go down the uh, uh, Republican side. So, yeah, that is, that's, well, that's the thing. Now, from a roleplay standpoint, we are the defenders of democracy. Now, neither of these people are uh, are democracy. The Commune of France sure has elections. I have played them once. I know that they have like elections, but they're the communists. And from a roleplay standpoint, again, we really think about the roleplaying aspects of well, of my videos here. Russian Republic isn't has, doesn't have too many great well thoughts when it comes to the with when it comes to fr like just communism. Remember uh, the uh, revolution? Yeah, that that still that still stings probably. Now, um, the fa that's the same like the German Empire. The German Empire took a lot of shit from us, but they also uh, agreed to like they also didn't interfere when we took the Don Caban Union out, which is okay, I guess. Now, German Empire is also used to be our enemy. Um, they also put pretty heavy regulations on us, and they took all. A lot of land. They also were the reason that we lost Transamu, for example, and parts of the Trans-Siberian Railway. But when it comes to both of these guys, if we were to declare war on the German Empire, we might as well side with the Communist France, which is pretty much the same thing. Um, now, if we were to defend the German Empire, that would make a little bit more sense because we can actually offer Germany alliance, but at a cost. This, of course, would be, um, I think, that being the defenders of democracy, um, I think that communism is the gravest threat to democracy that there is right now. you got to see that they have already thrown over so many demo democracies in the past. We are the last, we are the bastion of democracy and we must defend it. And for that, we must make sure that the communists are detained and contained. For example, the Philippines. Are communists. They used to have a democratic republic, but that's soon they turn into a communist land, whatever. Also, you can see what the communists have done over here. The combined syndicates of America have torn the uh, American nation apart, and by that, it's not a, g a good thing. And look, here's the here's also a democracy under Philip Pétain, although it's currently a dictatorship, but. These guys, the French Republic, is confined to Sub-Saharan Africa. It's old colonies, humiliated by none other than the threat of communism. Union of Britain. Look where the fucking king is right now. He's over in the Commonwealth of Canada. How's the Commonwealth of Canada doing, by the way? <laughs> I just, like, I, dig I digress right now. But, um, yeah, he's doing pretty good. Has he gone with anything? Did he put Ireland to maintain his... Mm. Doesn't look like he has done anything aggressive though, but whatever. Now I will offer the German alliance, German Empire an alliance at a cost. The government of the German Empire has accepted a reasonable demand to regain spheres of influence in Eastern Europe. The Ukraine, formerly under the protective protection of the German Empire, is now without mercy. What shall we do with the United States? The demand for incorporation. Hooray. The government of the German Empire has accepted the reasonable demands in regarding the spheres of influence in Eastern Europe. While Lithuania, formerly under the protection of the German Empire, is now at our mercy. What shall we do with this rebellious state? Manful integration. There we go. 
So now we are in Middle Europa, I'm guessing. Yes, we are. This will only be for now, however, while we defend democracy. <laughs> for fuck's sake. Um, you will confine our armies to pretty tight positions on the sides. Simply because then we can push things back with great numbers as our equipment is outdated in some of our armies. And of course, we have the problem of not being well trained. My state bonds my Virginia. We also have a thing here. Um, state of Armenia. Hmm. You will do the war preparations program. <laughs> the war preparations program, guys. We're preparing for war. Yeah, that's a thing. But whatever. Get in there. Fast. We'll come to your aid. Also, um... It is time for the glorious army to be rebuilt. Build an entire army for me, please. An entire army of infantry divisions. Great Patrick, Patri oh my. Totalitarian French, the to totalitarian French regime hates Russia, as it oppresses people for their love of God, honor, prosperity, and civil liberties. Everybody knows that the outcome of the war is a sign for the fate of our motherland. Citizens in big cities attack everything which has French origin or is connected to the communists. State officials already have started massive pro propaganda actions directing towards youngsters to induce them to enlist to, ar to the army or to go to the factory. Musicians, poets, painters, and other artists from all political factions, except both we have loudly announced their support for our regime. Orthodox clergy, likewise, all all major religions on all, uh, all major uh, religion eminences are saying prayers for the troops on the front and government. Now, when all predominant parties and trading unions declared sacred union not to weaken Russia, we can be safe of our future. We will march the avenue through the avenue of the Champs Elysees. We gain three our political power, which will help, and we remove from their only and we go over to limited conscription. The former White Houston state is now under direct military control. We can also hope to keep the errors of the former state in line for too long though. Most politicians are crowned for the rest restoration of White Houston as the buffer state with the eastern parts of the country direct directly integrated into Russia. However, nationalists strongly disagree with this kind of solution and said they meant that White Houston is permanently integrated into Russia. So by the border. It's great areas with the Russian majority. We will get do anything. Minority policies by Virginia. We have decided that it will be in Russia's best interest by Virginia if if if, if, if Virginia is absorbed into Russia. Now an important question arises about our minority policies towards our new subjects. Shall we continue with the pre-1914 Russification policies? Currently we rise of all minorities. Restore Russification policies. Um yeah, remember, we are a democracy. Oh, somebody dies, I guess, but um, we are a democracy and we are a tolerant republic. So we will, we will guarantee the, the uh, guarantee white rights for all minorities in White Ruthenia. Because we are a democracy, goddammit. Prepare yourself, French. We are coming. Portugal is capitulated. These are dark times indeed. Looks like Angola actually also went to the Union of Britain. That's not good for the colonies. We'll wait. You weren't in the war already. Thought we said we were yes to. Um. Are these guys in a separate war or something? I guess I'll, I'll decline that. Those Middle Africa. Yes, I will sign an aggression pact. Fuck off, Portugal. And I will also sign a grand aggression pact with the Elegant Miner of Sake <sighs> I'll be in line already. Stand in line. Hold on, I have an idea. We'll go ahead and organize all an entire army. Oh, 
After some time witnessing the efficiency and justice of the union between Russia and the Ukraine, the reluctant inhabitants of the western parts of Ukraine have finally accepted the benefits and righteousness of the reunification of little and great Russia. Great. We'll use this little area as a pushing point. And hopefully we'll be able to cut this army off. Hopefully. And these guys will try and push over. Yes, yes, push! Green iron guy. Okay, so oh my, Frost will be happy about this one. Uh. Go. Okay, nope, don't go. Wait for all the units to arrive. You'll go ahead and use force. Dunkirk. Oh god. Looks like the uh, Belgian bulls are pretty unchanged over here. Um, Germany's ball. Yeah, it's only like a like a push through here that's helped, but that's really it. Are there any faults whatsoever? What I also don't understand is like they, like the French and the Germans do not have faults anywhere. I mean, faults should be constructed in my opinion, but whatever. Um, Oh, did we push over here? Or was that not? No, that was not. That wasn't our push. Um, Ro Hungary declare war again, I guess. Um, even though they have a truce, and looks like Iron Guard Romania has way more troops, and the Union, Austro-Hungarian Union, has al already been disbanded. So uh, yeah, that's not going to be uh, too good. Are you still affected by the? Um, They should go away when once to declare war. Uh, new militarism formed the economy. So it looks like they've no longer suffering from the Great Depression. So that's nice. As the United Provinces of America declare war on Central America. What the fuck? Is this United Provinces of America? This is La Plata, no. Where the fuck is the United Provinces of America? Their war. Oh, is it this? Yeah, it is. A little bit of. S there's a communist uprising against a. <gasps> that's the um. That's the uh, that's the democracy, but unfortunately we are embroiled in the war for defense of another democracy. Well, it isn't democracy, but hopefully there'll be some democratic consent once we go ahead and get our shit together. Soon we'll be able to get in there. Come on! Then everybody will be in place for a full attack on Mulhouse. And the full push will become inevitable. What the fuck? This makes no sense. Oh no, they have a fucking divisions as well. What? It doesn't say that I'm taking actual. Um, yeah, it looks like we've gone ahead and gotten the first team going. This will be a um, quite a horrific war. But if we can actually manage to push through here. Now, how is our new recruitment programs going? That's uh, oh, we can call them Pre-Baltica. Let's call them in. Uh, 941. Uh, how about we get next level of artillery, which we still don't have, by the way. Which makes no sense. It's called United Baltic. So we don't get backstabbed out of nowhere. Like seriously, is this like bugged or something? Because I can I keep seeing these little thingies, like these battles that seem to be going well, but then they don't go well. Problem is that we have just so many divisions, it's ridiculous. Wait, what? There's still divisions going over here? But there are. Oh. Like, this there keeps shoveling troops around, so it's impossible to break through. Uh, it's just 
that's just the problem. Just a struggle. It's a huge fucking struggle. Soon excavation will be done. But it looks like we're finally going to be pushing ahead into French. But at least we have a fuck of manpower, which we can use, of course. Let's do funding friends. We need to possibly get that new research because I believe we need like uh, six focuses. Yeah. So we need that and that. So funding frenzy. There we go. Looks like we're going to be able to push into Lille. Oh my, that's a pretty major city if you know what Lille is. Um, what was that? The Japanese Empire declared war on us. Well, fuck. Me in the ass, please. How about I change your position to somewhere over here? So we are now all these fuckers. Where will these guys finish? 19 March, March, February. So next month we'll have those tubes. Have we pushed into Lille yet? Nope, they just... That, that's the problem, they just move in a massive amount of troops everywhere. It looks like we've actually busted through here, oh my. We've managed to bust the hole, but again, they just keep shuffling fresh troops in, which is... Just annoying. Seriously, we can't even get... Like, we have an entire army... Situated in this province, attacking... You just cut off these guys, and it's not working. <laughs> Like that's a problem. That's why I don't. Uh, that's why I really don't like meddling in the bigger affairs. Like the the war. This war. First of all, Germany always loses for some reason. And secondly, just the French have a ridiculous amount of troops at this stage. At this stage of the game, that just doesn't make sense. It's just ridiculous how many troops they have. They have. They the AI keeps shuffling troops around, so you can't push because they like have the magic of just being able to push troops around all over the place. Also, for some reason, these guys joined in. And now I'm all with these fuckers. The deep go prosperity spear. I do not want to um, get any units involved over there. Um, how about we create two armies? Yeah, we're going to... Uh, well, at least there's no real threat coming from the Japanese invading the middle of nowhere. So we're just going to sit here. And wait for our units to come to the production line. Uh, two more days. And then we'll have an entire army simply spawn over here, which makes no sense, paradox, but thanks. Yay. The government of Angar Romania, Romania seeks further expansion of their borders, threatening our holdings in Transnistria. Well, that's not a nice thing to do there. I will hold, tell you to at least hold the line for now. It's really a thing they want you to do. Now, the next batch of new recruits not go to the far east. They will actually spawn over here and hopefully get some. No, now we have at, have at least pushed in here a little bit. I'm hoping that these guys have gained some experience because that's also the problem that we have. How about you stop your attack for now? Stop your attack and regenerate. That's also the problem. They keep just attacking into like like these lines and just they <laughs> kingdom of Lithuania apparently they weren't in yet they, they just keep throwing their men at the like at the enemy it's kind of annoying you just keep throwing that oh yeah by the way guys I know that there's the uh, new update and I'm actually still running this on the older uh, versions of the game just because I don't want to uh, go ahead and well this save file will become inc is incompatible with the new update. So just run the old, the old stuff, you know. Now you are taking a massive amount of casualties, but you have 10 million troops at limited conscription. So I think we're good. <laughs> they keep it they're launching attacks from Dunkirk. <sighs> like both the UK, like the UK probably also has yeah. Like <laughs> what the fuck game? This is like, sometimes I just think that there might be a problem with this because like in the real world war there was like a pretty weak allies at the beginning which makes the game more fun. But in this it's just more fucking cross the fuck. Now, are you taking attrition over here? 
Yeah, you are. But you just disperse yourselves a little bit. Get half of those troops out of there. So you might be able to not take that much attrition. Even, like, it's telling me that they are taking attrition, but they doesn't, like... Like, if I take a look over here... Yeah, they, I guess there are, but whatever. Oh yeah, that's also saying it's like states wise, so yeah, that might be a problem. Now, actually, how about you go over here a little bit more? Because I can see some weak spots. Wait, what? My, they declare war Mongolia as well? Are you fucking shitting me? Of all the things you can do. After the South American War of the 1930s, two regional powers emerged in South Africa, Brazil and Argentina. Tensions between the two, two giants, former enemies of the war, now turned rivals for South America's domination, have been rising for years, and the La Plata victory against Paraguay and Bolivia did little to ease them. A fragile peace in South America has been finally broken with the beginning of an outright war between the two countries, a war that, weakened, that the weakened US will probably not be able to stop. While the, Platin, while, the, while the Lapatans are confident in the second victory, Brazilians are ready to achieve revenge for their defeat last time. And why the fuck are you attacking, even though I have not given you any orders whatsoever? Oh yeah, that's right, they're still just going, even though like, the thing is don't actually update. So, um, skill? So, so by Georgi Zukov, yes. Get Zukov in charge of this. We've actually managed to push through here a little bit. I think just keep throwing the men at the battles will just is the only thing we can do. The French don't have the unlimited manpower the Russians have, so uh, maybe we'll be able to do some shit there. Uh, fun. Wait, what are you doing? <sighs> Fucking game. Well, I don't want to move in there. It'll just cause attrition. What? what? Against the Allies? Um, no. Why are you at war with the Allies? Just wondering, you know. Why the fuck are you at war with the Allies? It says that you're at war with the Allies, but... Or it says something along those lines, but... Oh, I'm not at war with the... With these fuckers. So there's two separate wars going on, I guess? What the fuck? And why are there so many troops in Dunkirk? I think it's like a ridiculous amount. What? Oh, yeah, for a second I thought that those were British troops. Like, the, uh. Like, Can Canadian British troops. Like, it, was, it was like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the hell are these guys doing over here? Um. Put your troops together. I'll tell you to go ahead and try to attack. There. Oh, no. What? Hold your movement, please. I was trying to just simply change the attack order. Uh, why are you not attacking? You should be moving units. How about you get in there? I don't care that there's attrition. Oh, how, how about you move out? Because you know? they immediately just, like, the... Yeah. Oh my, we're, we're winning another battle. Oh, no, we aren't, because they moved in more troops. And then we are, then we not. Then we, uh, then we are, then we not. That's a problem. Again, and they keep, like... <laughs> the AI has a ridiculous amount of troops in this. It doesn't make sense. Like, the game just breaks when there's about this amount of troops just used and... I don't know that it doesn't necessarily break, but the game, but it just the game isn't fun when there's this much troops, like in a war where both neither side can actually do anything. Like seriously, I'm just sitting here, watching nothing happen. Like legit. Ah. Uh. You know what I should probably do of this? Like, I this series is coming to an end, obviously. What I'm gonna do for the next episode is just... Oh. What I'm gonna do for the next episode, because this series will end soon, um, 
It's probably just gonna be like, just go ahead and uh, I'm not good. Just going to simply like, oh, the series is done. I'm done. Now, as you can see, we've actually pushed, even though it says that we're um, losing the battles. We've actually pushed. I'm hoping that whatever happens, we might be able to just simply push. Now, what I'll probably do is like go do go ahead and do this. Tell them to try and attack towards this objective. And you guys try and go attack towards this objective. And just like keep the game running in the background. <laughs> now this area is actually uh, pretty well covered I believe. As long as I don't attack. Pretty much. Yeah just like. Now I'm gonna probably do this, just like make these ridiculous demands, time to do this, and then just leave the game running and go eat some, eat a fucking cookie or something, or just like watch some videos in the uh, in another tab. You know what I'm saying? Just like make a little bit of time lapse, just how the uh, war is going, because I'm not like in like this is not entertaining for me, and just like watching pretty much the. Thingy's not move. Now I know that this is like, this is like actually pretty good for uh, a, uh, well, this is what just happened in like a World War 1 game, but then a World War 2 game, kind of, that this shouldn't happen. Of course we'll, we'll keep having these troops spawn, so I'm definitely going to be staying at my computer. This is going to be like, going away or something, watching a video. Have some nice music in the background. But that's going to be for the next episode. I'm not going to start this yet. Our popularity is rising. Excellent. Now for stability. Uh, we're going to get the support from the Zemp for whatever. I'm very sorry for that. Um, yeah. Our popularity is rising. Yes, please. Probably going to be... Now, again, next series I'll like get up the um, new DLC. And, oh yeah, that's actually something I've also no, not done. That's probably why I'm losing so badly, is that I don't actually have any sort of land doctrine. Uh, mass assault doctrine. But we get mass assault doctrine. There we go. I think that's what you end with, right? Uh, frontline commissars. Mechanical warfare. That's that. Um, superior firepower. Oh, we need to get severe, superior firepower. That's it. Um, not mass assault. Superior firepower. And how about we also get the next industry shit going. Oh, and there we go. We have a new army assembled. So we'll go ahead. Get a guy in charge of this thing. Konstantin Rukoszewski or whatever, and let's hope that we can. That's probably the reason why German almost time loses, just because they have like the problem with maintaining a, any sort of thingy. Now probably the next thing I'll do with this, like with the next army that spawns, I'm gonna like go ahead and like uh, garrison the ports all, all along this, just so they don't get attacked. And yeah, and oh my, we're winning another battle. Will we win it? No, we aren't, but at least we're... Like, this is what they're gonna be seeing for the next few, like, full... What I'm at least gonna be seeing. Like, see, 12 divisions, it's just impossible to break through. Like, nobody's attacking, I'm probably the only one who's actually attacking. Same because I have a massive amount of manpower. Yeah, yeah, I get support for the war effort. Whatever. How many divisions are actually over here? Like seriously, I want to know how many divisions are in Dunkirk. Oh, um... Okay, we do not have enough equipment. Well then, we'll just start draining... Simple... 10 division at a time. 
Oh, that's what happened. Now we know what the Federación Anarquista is. So, the Federación Anarquista Iberica, Federación Anarquista Iberica, has declared war on the uh, Portuguese, even though the Portuguese are already at war. So, that's what happened, I guess. And now we need to actually get a thingy. Oh. How about you go down there? It's probably a good idea. Um, 1942, no, hmm. How about we get recon companies? There we go, but we're going to have to end this episode. I'm probably just going to, um, now... This episode is going to get released on Thursday. We're going to, on Thursday I'm going to record EMP, so I'm going to be able to do that. Um, yeah. Now the video, that's where, where I'm like, just sitting here and not doing anything just like watching a video while the game runs in the background yeah that's gonna be up in probably friday or s probably not friday because i obviously i'm not going to record this like this time lapse completely after this um probably on saturday or sunday so yeah um watch out for that and i'm probably gonna get started on a new uh series in kaiserreich because well this series is coming to an end and again i'm gonna get that time last because this is not anything to watch this is probably going to last like a couple more hours until like anything happens on this front and the problem is like it's just it's pretty much strange warfare like nobody has tanks nobody has a blitzkrieg or any so yeah that's probably that's just a problem nobody is fighting a true front war and like like the first world war or nobody is like, pretty much it's a clusterfuck Bye, have a beautiful time, and I'll see you in the next series.